Yo, what is good, YouTube man? Shiesty Man Jones is back. Now, listen, I heard a lot of people are having problems with shooting on NBA 2K24. You feel me? A lot of y'all having problems. I was having problems myself. Now, I'm not finna sit here and cap to y'all and say that, you know what I'm saying, shooting is easy and things of that nature because it's a little bit more complex than last year. I'm not gonna lie. Now, y'all can go ahead and skip to the jump shots if y'all want to, but I'm gonna give y'all every single tip I know that helped me go from shooting 10% at the three line in part to now shooting, what, what am I shooting? 40% at the three line. And I only got 86 games played. When I was at 60 games played, I was shooting 10% from the three line. That's literally only 26 games ago. Now I'm shooting 40. Now that I finally mastered everything, I'm about to give y'all every single tip and everything and things of that nature. Now listen, first things first, bro. This is what a lot of people don't realize because they did get rid of this. This is something hidden in 2K that they don't want y'all to know, you feel me? First things first, you feel me? It starts out with what build you made this year. Now look, your three ball, bro. I'm gonna pop up on the screen right now. This is from 2K19. It's still in the game i've tested it myself depending on what type of three ball you have if you try to go deeper or anything like that your chance of making a shot will go significantly down you feel me now obviously if you time it correct you'll be able to hit the shot but depending on what type of three ball you have you're not going to be able to hit the shot now one thing i have noticed it doesn't matter if you have a 73 ball 75 80 85 90 it doesn't really matter as long as you're at the three point line everyone's bar will be the same even if you have a 99 three ball 95 anything like that your bar will basically be the same as everyone else's especially if you play with no meter on so that is tip one bro know your build know your range if you have less three ball obviously you won't be able to shoot from further you know what i'm saying further spots on the court if you're trying to shoot deeper and you're timing your jump shot the exact same you can't shoot that is a big reason why you got to know your range buddy know your range the next crucial tip i want to give you it doesn't matter what jump shot you have on i want to let y'all know there's only three timings in this game the first timing is going to be your catch and shoot timing this is going to be when you're shoot sitting still or when you get a pass thrown to you in the corner or wherever you may be on the court doesn't really matter all those timings is going to be the same now obviously if a person could test you your jump shot will be faster or if a person's near you or they, you know what i'm saying putting their hand up your jump shot will be a lot faster but they're all going to be the same depending on your visual cue so with the catch and shoot timing it's a teeny weensy bit faster then you know what i'm saying all the other ones all for me i use set point all i have to do is release it once it gets above my head it's green every single time this is the catch and shoot timing when you're standing still green every single time you feel me now a lot of y'all may be saying okay well what's the other two timings now the second timing is going to be off the dribble it doesn't matter if you're you not know saying if you dribble to the side or you hit a hezzy step whatever the case may be the shot you're going to take the timing is going to be a teeny weensy bit slower you feel me so so basically if i use the same catch and shoot timing but four off dribble shots the shot will not go in like y'all see this brick it ain't going in you feel me it's going to give me a late i mean it's going to give me an early or a very early every single time again if you use the catch and shoot timing after you try to you know what i'm saying dribble it's going to be a brick every single time or whatever slightly early early whatever the case may be the key to greening after a dribble you want to basically take the ball and shoot it just you want to basically shoot the ball just a tiny bit further a teeny wins to be longer a little bit of milliseconds longer so basically all you want to do run to the side and then hold it just wait until the ball gets above your head and green bean that's for me set point if obviously if you're using release or or push it's going to be a little bit different now as for the third timing it doesn't matter if you're blinking red or not your new shot timing will be your off dribble timing so you want to use your off dribble timing to shoot when you're blinking red or when you're out of stamina that's all you're going to want to do now look again it doesn't matter if you have no energy what you're going to be using instead of your catch and shoot timing what you're going to want to be using is your off the dribble timing you feel me you'll be able to green a shot every single time and with that if you have the ant badge on whether it be on gold silver bronze this is going to help y'all green the shots a lot better that's literally going to tie in with it now obviously there's going to be other timings in the game like you know what i'm saying for example post fade or post hop shot whatever the case may be it's going to be a teeny weensy bit longer whether you do a post fade or post hop shot obviously depending on whatever your animation is it's going to be a slightly bit longer of course of course the same thing with your dribble pull up obviously if you have on a different animation your animation be, might be a little bit longer a little bit shorter whatever the case may be it's going to be completely up to y'all how y'all play now for the next tip i want to give y'all bro the main tip this is going to be the most 
crucial tip to greening all your shots on NBA 2K24. You feel me? And it's learning your visual cue on this game. It doesn't matter if you use jump, set point, push, release. It's not going to matter. You feel me? Now, look, I'm going to pop up on the screen right now. This is from 2K Labs, bro. They test it and everything. They, they know all the stuff they're getting into it over there. Now, look, jump is going to be the earliest. It's basically very, very early from 2K24 and 23. Set point is basically going to be early, which that's what I use. I feel like it's the best. Push is basically going to be late and release is going to be very late. Now, what that means is obviously right now I'm going to be using set point. Now, on set point, what I do is I release the ball by the time it gets to the top of my head and every single time it will be green all of your jump shots are going to be different but if you release it you know what i'm saying when you get to the top of your head it's going to be basically the exact same thing i release the ball as soon as it gets to the top of my head you feel me now look i could do the same thing and switch over to release or push it's not really going to matter i could release the ball the same exact way as i did before it's going to be a completely different timing now again this is on release timing now i'm releasing the ball the same way as before releasing the ball as soon as it gets on top of my head and it's going to be early or it's going to be either early or slightly early every single time. Now, obviously, it will end because I'm in my court, but every single time, if I release it the same exact way as I release it while I'm using set point timing, it's going to, you know what I'm saying, slightly early or early every single time. Now, you want to release the square button, X button, whatever you're on right before it comes out your hand, not before it hits your head, right before it comes out your hand. So right when the ball is coming out your hand, that's when you want to release it and that's going to be a green for you every single time i know the reason why i was shooting bad in park and everything is because i was trying out every single shot timing i've already got everything down pat basically for release again you want to release the ball right after it's about to come out your hand so bam green bean every single time right when the ball is about to come out your hand is when you're going to want to release on the release setting now a lot of people may like it a lot of people may not it's going to be completely up to y'all but again same thing right when the ball release from your hands that's when y'all want to release on the release setting and it's kind of almost the same on push but it's just about when the ball gets to you know what i'm saying the end goal the next thing i want to talk to you about is what type of shots are you actually taking do you even know how to get open on this game bro well if you don't i'm gonna let y'all know right now this is this is crucial to shooting on this game because if you shoot in a shot there's ghost contest you can shoot a shot it says open but it's really like 30 40 percent contested bro even if they're like just the most smudge bit one percent covered it can make you miss it's like a whole bunch of random things happen like it's literal rng now getting open on this game there's only three things well two things really that you need to be doing the first thing is simply going to be stepping back if you don't know how to step back, bruh, all you want to do is flick down on your stick. That's literally it. This is going to give you the most, you know what I'm saying, the most crazy moves possible. You can pair this with anything. You can fake like you're going to run in and then step back. Stepping back is going to give you an open look almost every single time. They're not going to know what to do. I'm telling you, bro, 100%. You're going to shoot. You're going to want to be shooting open shots. Now, the best step backs I recommend y'all use on this game, which I personally use, is going to be Luka. There's two step backs he's going to give you. I'm going to show y'all real quick. Also, another fire step back is going to be the Chris Ball step back. That's basically going to give you the LeBron step back. It's going to give you a whole bunch of space. You're going to be open for the three every single time. Also, the Jason Tatum step back, he's going to have a dumb quick step back instantly. As y'all can see, that one right there. Also, John Wall has a mad spacious step back. Basically, sim similar to the Chris Paul one, they basically have the same exact step back. They take a lot of space it's basically like the lebron step back you feel me now there are some glitchier ones in the game like you know what i'm saying james harden his is pretty pretty glitchy but if you want to just step back and shoot a three i recommend john wall you know what i'm saying chris paul jason tatum or luca you feel me the second tip to getting open on this game depending on what type of escape move you have on it doesn't really matter the next move that's going to help y'all get open instantly on this game bro is simply holding the r2 button the turbo button whatever the case may be and then flicking diagonally up. And once you get that little escape move to pop up, bruh, what y'all wanna do is simply run out of it. Now you can run to the three line, you can run in for a dunk, whatever the case may be. This move is gonna give y'all a super glitchy speed boost. 
And most of the time, people are not gonna know how to, you know what I'm saying, contest it because you're literally flying away from them instantly. Now the second move is gonna be called the escape moves, obviously. Now my opinion, you should go for like whatever you think the fastest one is gonna be. I recommend y'all go with either John Wall, Kimball Walker, maybe Chris Paul, Trey Young. Trey Young is the absolute best one in the game. If you can get Trey Young, you have a 92, you know what I'm saying, ball handle on your bill. Get Trey Young. Trey Young has the best one in the game, hands down. There's none better. A lot of the lower ball handle builds is going to be running Kevin Durant. This is going to be extremely elite. You know what I'm saying? Gives you a lot of space and everything and things of that nature. You can also try out Luka if you have like a 70, but that's a little bit too, too slow. I ain't going to lie. You might as well just run something else. Instead of Luka, I'd rather just run pro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Now for the third move, bro. This is the move that all y'all wanna do is basically a hezzy step into a speed boost. So all y'all wanna do is hold the turbo button, flick to whatever hand the ball is already in. Y'all see the balls in my right hand. What y'all wanna do is flick your stick the right way and then run in that direction. It's gonna give y'all speed boost. It does take an adrenaline bar, but it's gonna give y'all speed boost every single time you feel me that way i can go for a three ball or you can go for a dunk whatever y'all want to do it's going to be completely up to you that's all you want to do to get open every single time on this game it's going to help y'all shoot a lot of better shots you don't want to be taking no super contested shots you're going to be missing especially the way the timing is this year it's not going to be looking good as for the last move obviously it's going to be the hezzy you know what i'm saying you can choose whatever hezzy you want to but me in my opinion i want to go with the fastest ones possible Kevin Durant is good for the low, lower ball handle builds and things of that nature. A lot of y'all can choose however y'all want, whatever has you want to go with. I, I think I run Chris Paul in my build. Yeah, I think I do run Chris Paul. Yeah, I run... No, I run James Harden has he what since when did I put that on? But yeah, that's the Hezzy, bro. Y'all can choose whatever one y'all want to. I think the best ones are probably gonna be John Wall, Chris Paul, James Harden, Kevin Durant. Whatever y'all want to do is completely up to y'all. You feel me? Lastly, I didn't talk about this in the video, but to get open, bro, dribble styles is going to be something you're gonna want. Now, this is a dribble style that literally anyone can get as long as you're under six foot ten. You feel me? Go for the Gabby Williams dribble style. All you need is a 40 plus fuel ball and you're gonna be moving completely different. If y'all wanna be able to combo your moves together, I recommend y'all go with the Magic Johnson, you feel me? That's gonna let y'all combo your moves together and things like that. It's gonna let y'all combo and everything like that. Or y'all can go with whatever else in the game y'all want to. It's completely up to y'all. Michael Jordan, if you can get it, 86 fuel ball is kinda of crazy though. Steve Nash is a good one. And also, I'm pretty sure the best one in the game is Kyrie Irving, so if y'all wanna go with that one, you can go with that one or John Stockton or whatever y'all wanna do. Now the next tip I wanna tell y'all about is simply hot zones. Now hot zones is pretty effective on current gen. A lot of people don't even know about this. They don't even know how to get them because you can't get them by playing, you know what I'm saying, mocker. It's not like 2K24, how you can go to the art of the shooting facility. None of that, that don't work over here. Over on current gen, the way y'all get y'all, you know what I'm saying, hot zones, you have to play park. As y'all can see, you can't just, you know what I'm saying, go into my career and shoot crazy shots, get your hot spots up and things of that nature. I see my hot spots right here. If you click square, you change it over to your part. It's a completely different ball game. I'm pretty sure all y'all have to do is get into the 45% range and you'll be hot. But it's a complete different ball game. You have to get all your hot zones to shoot crazy in part. That's how I'm starting to be able to shoot consistently at things of that nature. That's just another tip. I had to let y'all up on game. You can't get your hot zones like how people do on, you know what I'm saying, next gen Gatorade facility or artist shooting. It's just not that simple this year. Now, as for your badges, the only badges you're really going to need to be able to shoot a lot better on this game is one going to be amped to help y'all shoot y'all more tired shots and things like that. And lastly, Agent 3. Just like 2K23, this allows y'all to shoot threes a lot better. It says pull up threes, but basically this is going to help y'all shoot y'all, you know what I'm saying, dribble pull up off the dribble threes, not actually off the dribble fade threes but you know what i'm saying when you dribble into a shot bam boom bow this is going to help y'all shoot threes a lot better a lot smoother on the game 100 as for the rest of these badges in this game none of these is really going to matter agent three is going to be the main badge that you're actually basically want to be going for you get this badge at a 68 three-pointer you need the agent three badge it's going to be key like i talked about earlier you got to understand your range the limitless range you might have this badge on bronze, silver, whatever the case may be. You got to understand your range. You are not going to be pulling from half every single time. Maybe with takeover, but no. Now, as for your takeover, there is a takeover in this game that allows you to shoot limitless range threes. You can use this on a 76 three ball. You can pull from deep. Now, if y'all want to shoot farther than the actual three point line, then obviously I want to put it on the most range, you know what I'm saying, takeover. But if you want to shoot threes perfect every single time, 
use the spot of precision takeover now listen i don't really talk about this too much but this is another underrated thing now this helps a lot of people me personally i don't really need it too much but look i'm telling y'all try this out bro it's a little bit expensive to keep them but try this out bro jump shot boost now i know it's a thousand five hundred vc to get them you know what I'm saying? VC is kind of hard to come across in this game because of deals mad expensive. But if you can get the jump shot boost, you know what I'm saying? Buy 99 games, whatever the case may be. I think that's going to be, yeah, 13,000. If you can get extra 13,500 VC to get 90 games, I highly recommend y'all do it, bro. It's going to help y'all shoot a lot better. You feel me? You feel me? In my opinion, there's no real reason on why you shouldn't be going for it. Now, me, I'm not going to buy it because I don't really need it. I feel like I'm fine without it. Also, another thing that's going to help y'all shoot better is going to be gatorade boost but don't buy this brother like they're, they're way too expensive now if you want them on to you know what i'm saying help y'all keep energy so you'll be able to shoot better go ahead but this is not going to be worth it in my opinion don't go for that just go for the jump shot boost it's way better than dirt gatorade boost another tip i know a lot of people is always telling me oh there's delay in my jump shot this is delay, delay now look i re-downloaded nba 2k23 current gen and i can tell y'all 100 the delay is almost the exact same as last year like there's almost barely anything different don't use the delay as an excuse now if you actually do have a delay in your controller if you use a ps5 controller this is how you want to fix it now to fix the delay of your controller i'm pretty sure this only really works on ps5 but i know a lot of people are on ps5 and still playing ps4 2k what y'all want to do is go ahead and click the settings and y'all want to come over to the accessories tab then click controller general come over to communication method and change it to usb cable this is going to allow y'all to play with basically no delay and i know a lot of people don't really tell you about this but this is a way to fix the delay you feel me especially if you're using a ps5 controller it's acting weird i go through this problem all the time bro i'm telling y'all bro it works as for the jump shots for every single bill and three point rating these are the jump shots i recommend y'all use y'all can use whatever y'all want to but these are some fire jump shots i want to recommend y'all now as for the first jump shot of the video bro my jump shot bay rob as y'all can see right here this is my jumper y'all see it Rudy Gay, Sadiq Bay, Oscar Robinson. This is for this is for the 85 three ball range tight beat. You feel me? This is what y'all want to be rocking. This jump shot is cash. Now for all my small guards out there, everybody that's you know what I'm saying under six foot five, six foot five and under whatever the case may be. The jump shot I recommend y'all use is Kevin Porter Jr., Oscar Robertson, Chris Paul. It's a glitchy jump shot. It's cash, but I'm telling y'all 100%. Release speed 100%. Blending 42 50. I got this jump shot from Irosh Bots, bro. Go check him out. He's a fire YouTuber. And he makes videos on Current Gen. Now, for the next jump shot in this video, bro, for a lot of people that have, like, high three ball and things of that nature, y'all should try out this jump shot right here, bro. I'm telling y'all, it's cash. LaMelo Ball, Oscar Robinson. If it's too quick for you, go ahead and slow the speed down, bro. It's going to be butter, bake, bean. I'm telling y'all, bro, 100%. Now listen y'all, for the next jump shot, this is the jump shot I recommend y'all try out, you know what I'm saying? This is a fire jump shot as well. What y'all want to use is JT Thor as your base, Paul George as release 1, Killian Hayes as release 2, 100% release speed, 70, 30, you feel me? This jump shot is cash as chicken, bro. I'm telling y'all 100%, try it out. Another jump shot that's going to be mad fire in this game is going to be JT Thor, Oscar Robertson, Sadiq Bay. You can go 100% release speed or the third release speed. It's not really going to matter too much, but if you feel more comfortable going the third release speed, go with that one. 26, 74% blending. You feel me? You feel me? Also, yo, another chicken jump shot is going to be JT Thor, Oscar Robinson, Oscar Robinson. Blending is not going to matter. Release speed. If you want it to be slower, go ahead and drop it down to the third bar. But in my opinion, just keep it at the maximum speed this is another chicken jump shot now again for all my small guards out there bro this is the jump shot y'all want to be using obviously i can't put it on yet but what you're going to want to do is put on the james harden base you're going to need an 86 at least an 86 three ball for this you want to put on james harden base with the cj mccullum cj mccullum for release one and release two if you have a high 93 ball bro i really recommend this jump shot for all the small guards and stuff like that james harden cj mccollum cj mccollum all right so now as for the fire center jump shot whether you be 6'11, 6 11 6 10 7 foot 7 foot 2 7 foot 3 whatever the case may be the jump shot y'all want to be using is andre Drummond, tim duncan and jaron jackson jr now look you can set up however you want to you can go with a larry bird release or whatever 
But look, fire release tool, keep on Tim Duncan, a fire release tool is going to be Mark Gasol. I recommend y'all change your release tool to Mark Gasol if you don't like Jaron Jackson Jr.'s release too and also two fire bases in this game the first one is going to be obviously andre drummond the next one is going to be namanja Bljanka. my bad if i said the name wrong but that's going to be a fire base right there especially for people with like 75 76 three ball on their certain bills but i'm telling you but this is going to come in clutch and also another fire jump shot base is going to be oshea Brissett. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to believe in this jump shot base, but I'm telling y'all, bro, O'Shea Brissett is going to be cash, especially for sitters. I use O'Shea Brissett for almost like three months into current gen on 2K23. So I'm telling y'all, O'Shea Brissett is going to be a fire base. Obviously, I can't put it on right now because it's obviously locked, but yeah. But listen, man, that was a long, long video for me, of course. That was a long video for me, at least. But look, if y'all did, in fact, enjoy, man, how have you not liked the video? How have you not subscribed, man? That's kind of disrespectful, you feel me? And if you could, you feel, if you could, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Can you follow the socials, man? Like, can you follow my Twitter? You feel me? I'm going to pop it up on the screen. It's already on the screen, actually. Follow my Twitter. <laughs> but anyway, bro, I'm out this joint.